Hey guys, this is Coding with EJ and your PJs, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be continuing on our inventory. So now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder inside our scripts folder, and we're going to call it inventory. And in this folder, we're going to have all our item and inventory scripts. So in here, we're going to create a script. We're going to call it item. Let's open it up. And we're going to re remove all this. Remove all this. We're going to write using TM Pro because we're going to be using this asset called Text Mesh Pro, which you can get in the asset store for free. It's by Unity Technologies. You just click download or import, import it all. And then you can type down this. So now we're going to make this a scriptable object. We're not going to run it from the mono behavior. So we will not, we won't be able to attach this to game objects. Now I type this attribute called create asset menu. So we will allow to create this inside our assets. Let's just create a new folder inside of our assets. And we're going to call it items. We've got to save this first. Now let's go back here. Wait for you need to load. And now if I go to create, notice I can create an item. I'll just call this barrel. And there's nothing we could do with it right now. I'm going to add this right here. A public string called name it'll be the name of our item and an icon of what the item will look like so now if we go back here we can make the name we'll call it barrel and we can do an icon so we'll just do barrel for that we're gonna create two more scripts inside our inventory folder one of them will be called item slot this will be for our slots and we're gonna create another one called inventory now open up item slot Remove all this. We're we'll using the Unity Engine's UI, so right using Unity Engine.ui. Based on this code right here, let me explain it to you. So first, we are getting an image because we're going to be using an image in this, and we don't want it to be public, but we want it to be shown in the editor. So we write serialize field, so then this way we can protect our image, and we're creating a private item, calling it item, and the item is the class item right here. And right here, we're saying if item is null, then the image will be disabled. Otherwise, it'll be enabled. And this image dot sprite, so the sprite inside the component image will equal the icon of the item. So in this case, we go to items here, click this, and our icon will be barrel. So if this script is in some way connected to this right here, then icon right here is going to equal icon right there. Now, what we want to do is we want to select all our items. Now that we got all of them selected, we're going to add uh, our script that we just made, item slot. Now we're going to open our inventory script, delete these main methods right here. Right here, we're doing the same thing what we did over here, except for different variables. We want these to be in the editor, but we don't want them to be, want them to be public. So we're creating a list, and from that list, it's going to be made out of our class that we made item, and we're calling it items. And then we're getting a transform so we can get the transform of items parent. And I'll show you what that's going to be soon. And then we're creating an item slot and we're calling the item slots. In here, if items parent is null, then the item slots, this array right here, it's going to get the components inside the children of whatever items parent is connected to. Let's save it. And we're going to drag our inventory script to inventory panel right here. And let's select this. And inside items parent, we're going to drag inventory slots since it's holding all of our slots and our items. And notice how it automatically created 12 items that's inside the item slot because we have 12 items inside of item slots. Head back to our inventory script. Okay, so I just pasted this code right here, refresh UI. I'm going to type this right here really quick. What this means is whenever we make a change to our inventory, we need to write this down, refresh UI, so our inventory is changed. As you guys can notice, when you select all these items, it shows that the items are up there in the right. What we need to do is we need to drag them so they fit inside of each inventory slot. So we're going to enable this image component, and we're going to drag all these all down there. And then we just need to disable the image component, and you're done. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like. This is Cody with EJ and your PJs, and I'll see you in the next video.